So you first want to get first copy of Quad 4 Doesn't matter where you get it, I get one from this website You might want to buy it if you don't trust this kind of website But you can buy it from Steam It doesn't matter what version you have But you want to have the 1.7 version So I believe the quality 4 on the Steam is 1.8 So you might want to downgrade that Mine has already downgraded to 1.7 it's usually you don't, you don't want to get 1.0 or 1.8 so after that you can see this is my fresh copy of already you can just launch this and then get to recording but for this tutorial i use iw3xo because it have some other feature that quality just the final final version doesn't have it's like you have like gui for the custom uh, sky colors you can also tweak some film tweaks directly on the GUI. Yeah, the Corfor doesn't have that, so we'll use the IW2XO. But we're not going to use this one, we're gonna use the Chrome installer. So you might wanna download this first. So yeah, download the bad version, save it, put it on your card here, and double click it. Yeah, just when you get the screen just run it okay make sure you don't have the code for x the 1.8 version minus 1.7 i believe so just press any key to continue current cut for directory yes is this okay yes and then we'll just install the iw2xo and this ins installer come with code mvm so you, so you can use the theater function so you don't have to deal with the stuff this installer is so easy thank you chrome for the tutorial installer yeah as you can see it's like it installed the iw 3 mvm so press any key to continue so if you wanna start the game click the pad double click it and then press any key to continue and then you will get in game can skip that may be too loud. You may uh, get this notification, just click exit. And it, this is my second time loading into this game, so but you might want to change the resolution and then other stuff, I guess. Make sure to turn off anti aliasing if you want to use free shade. Now we can just directly go in game and then load load the stuff, load the demos. But I will continue using the code for editing mode by Krami. So first you want to open your code for editing mode zip and then extract it on the mods. Just leave it here. It should have these files in it. You can open the code for again. And you see there's got for editing mode compiled so you can just launch that so chrome mod have so usually if you want to get in the game you you need to press tilde and then type dev map and then the map code i don't i forgot what's the name but i guess that's the map code so the chrome mods automatically have those on the right side on the, on the screen so the crash map show you just click it so if you press 4, the menu will be open, and then you press V, you can close the menu. Press left click for down on the menu, and right click to get up on the menu. Hold on. Might want to change it from toggle to, yeah. Yeah. It's easier. So, you can add bots. If, if, if you want to, if you want to move, if you want a moving bot, you can just use the mod menu press 4 and then get down to bots menu press F you can add random bots here if you want uh, static bots you can right click and then press F and then it will spawn it just right here this static bot have like a hold gun enemy so you can see that he, he hold the gun 
you know, like that. And you can change your weapon. Uh, press F, then it will you will it will give you a list of the guns you they have. So you can you can do the eagle. I, they, they also have some custom weapons so you can have a TSR 50 on the fucking cold floor I guess yeah like that so to get on recording open your console menu and you can type record and then demo names you shouldn't have space on the demo names you should have if you want a space you should use underscores so if you want funny funny gameplay I guess And if you want to stop recording the demo, just open the toolie and then type stop record and it will stop the recording. You can just play with the boss here. Just click the quick start and they should just spawn. Then you can play it right. And for example, if you want to get off the game, just open the tool and type disconnect. If you want to open your demo, just type demo and then your demo name. I think it's funny gameplay. You can you can press tab and then it will just fill up the stuff. Gameplay, I guess. Oh, here's my demo. If you use the IW3MP, you might want to download Call MVM launcher and then when you are in game for God MVM launcher you can just yeah select a mod and then add it with 3 MVM and then you click load the control is pretty much self-explanatory because you, you can press left to go back on the timeline you can press right to go through the timeline you can press up to change the time scale so you can see it's still 0 0.3 speed 0.1 you might want to record on 0.1 if you want to get through all of the demo faster you can just speed it up i guess f1 for the toggle uh, menu toggling f2 for toggle view so this is for the first person mode and this is the free cam so you might wondering like why is my character blurry so this is because of the doff you will want to open your console and then type R D O F and then underscore enable and put it up to zero and then it will just turn it off. So record the POV you can slow down to 0.1 and then just record through I don't know OBS or NVIDIA shadow play I guess. But you might want to change the FOV first. So type CG underscore LV and then change it to 90. I guess that's good enough. Then you can just uh, turn off the menu and then press space to play. You might want to remove the hot though. Type CG underscore draw 3D and then zero and then just remove the hot elements. And then you can just continue recording. Play. I didn't hit that one. Nice. That was stupid and embarrassing. So if you don't want it to use the ragdoll, you can type ragdoll on this and just for enable and this is zero. And you will just not do it on the next. Then it should be good. But recording through OBS and NVIDIA might leave some quality out of the video so if you want to record with high quality video you, so you can open the console menu and then type mpm underscore every demo and then fps and then put it to whatever frame rate you want so so the frame rate here is not 600 fps it's 125 250 or 500 or 1000 or oh, i'll use 500 on this one and then a new text will show up in there that says press R to start or stop recording. Get 
to which point you want to record and then just press R and then it will remove the menu the downside of this is usually if you put so many stuff on it it's it can be laggy or just slow so slow even slower than Nvidia or OBS but the quality is untouchable using Avidom yeah, to find the video you can open your mod folder and then the movies folder and then it should be here yeah it will automatically change the frame rate to, to 500 yeah 500 so you don't have to deal with that later okay let's continue so you see that misc button down there it says control if it, you press that it will show you even more menu if you press f3 and it will change your point of view to green screen so you can see or if you press f5 it will show you your death map if you press f2 again yep, it will show you your free camera so if you press add or k it will add the cam path one one node of cam path and then you might want to slow down first and then press space and space again stop the demo from running and then add another k like here you will add another cam path you need to you add minimum of three i think or four I'll just play again, put it here. No, you need a minimum of four. Play again, and then put it here. The free cam controller is WSD to move, Q and E to move up and down. Scroll wheel to get your roll, and then shift and scroll to change your FOV. And then it's just your, just your mouse, yes and add another K here and it's it's there it's four you can press left to go back to the demo before the camp path started press J and then here you go you can just press out record so then to delete all of your cam path just press L so that is normal cam path so if you press F4 it will change it to frozen camera so you don't even need to 0.1 this one you can just add K don't press the space button for this one your timing will be off after you add your camera just add another camera I guess click here here and then here I guess if you press J, yeah, don't press the space button, just press J. I will change the cinematic to frozen. Let's use this one on the death handy. Just like here. Is it on frozen mode? Can you press K? Okay, again. Okay, again. and then if you press R it should just record it's relative to your game speed so if you put it to 0.1 it will read so you might want to put it on 1 even on 1 it's just really slow I will add like on our speed I don't want to record a lot of clips for this one because one one cinematic is like almost one gigabyte that's that's not even counting the pov so yeah i will show you a method to decrease the file size using other codec and when it's done it will just stop and stop recording and it will automatically save on this folder yeah there it is this one is tricky the white holy shit see i think i forgot to explain the how to use the so if you want to use different CFG you can open your console and then type 
dev GUI and then just close it and we'll show this GUI uh, if you want to change the visuals enable film tweaks and use the film tweaks you can do it all here you can you can do nuts on it whatever you want you can also change the sun color so here's the sunlight it's the color so you want it you can change it to pink blue ye yellow I might just leave it you can change the frame fog or the fog on here be be aware though if you want to use the frame fog you can't use the green screen so if you can see it won't work so you you need to turn it off first right here and then yeah you can also change the FOV here I forgot that I can you can do that so if you want to change the sky you can open day night and then toggle day night and then it will show the, the clouds there you can change pretty much almost every setting here you can just pretty much experiment on this one I leave it to you so I guess that's it for the tutorial on how to record Cloud4 I guess if you want to reduce this file size on it you can go to Jimzor's website and then open his github and then download his prereqs and download yeah, you should install XFET and QuickTime and FFMP, but you should download the ProRig bad. So after you download it, just extract it. This one extract it on the clips folder. Put it all on the folder. You don't want to put your movies and stuff. You might accidentally ProRig your your pirated movies. After you extract it, you just double click it and then it will show you this menu. Uh, they have other option you like TGA, PNG, XFET and ProRes. TGA, TGA and PNG is just basically image sequence. XFET and ProRes is video codec. So XFET is smaller but slower to decode. But ProRes is is a little bit bigger but it has better time to decode. So I will use ProRes on this one. Yeah, so okay, okay, so when it's done, they will create a folder called Comfortable Progress. Inside, uh, you can see like the funny gambaito MOV. It's from 2.6 gigabyte down to 400 megabyte. For actually, it's usually even smaller than that, but if you edit it, it's really, really slow. It's usually just used to archiving and stuff, I think. And you can see like funny gameplay from 2.6 gigabyte down to 400 megabytes and then funny gameplay one is like 900 megabytes to like 143 megabytes yeah that's pretty small yeah i think that's that's it i guess